Hello guys, welcome from Mr. Dot Updates. As the film starts, we see two bikers performing stunts. Both were father and son in relation. Son's name's Johnny. While performing stunts, his bike imbalances and he slips. After the show, Johnny's father angrily advises him, It happened today but don't let it happen in the future. When he gets home, his side catches a piece of paper. When he picks that up, it was clearly written on that his father has chest cancer. He becomes extremely concerned and goes to repair his bikes in order to soothe his heart. Suddenly, an old man comes there and says, Johnny, I am an admirer of your biking skills. Perhaps you will work for me someday. Johnny says, Oh do you run a show as well? In reply, he says, Yes, world's biggest show. Later he says, Your father is suffering from cancer, right? Johnny asks him shockingly. Who told you? He asks him to leave this topic and says, I can make your father healthy again but, in return, you'll have to accept my condition. Johnny says, OK tell me the amount you want for this work. That old man demands his soul. To which a Johnny laughs because he wasn't believing his words. That old man gives him a contract paper. As a Johnny starts reading it, a pin gets inserted into his hand, and a blood drop falls on the paper. That man then snatches the paper and says, this is enough. The scene changes and Johnny is shown on his bed. He thought it could be a dream. He nervously goes to his father and asks if he's fine. In reply, his father says that he was feeling unwell for some days and getting weaker due to this disease. But today, the doctor told me that I'm perfectly fine today and feeling myself healthier, he says. He was leaving for the show and asks Johnny to join him. But he was busy somewhere. He tells his father that he is interested in a girl named Roxy. Her father wants to send him away so I want to take her with me somewhere. He asks him, till when I'll perform these stunts, I want to do something new. Johnny's father gives him the key of the bike that he wanted to drive since childhood. He wishes him luck on his new adventure and departs. Johnny's friend's name was Roxy. Then he's shown on that bike. This area was so noisy and this was the place where his father went to perform stunts. Upon investigating, he acknowledges that his father died in an accident. Then that man comes in front of him, who asked him to sign the paper. Johnny was upset due to his father's death. He slips and gets injured badly. Here that man is shown again. Johnny angrily says, Why don't you stop following me? You killed my father. How did you know that he had cancer? That old man says, I only cured his cancer but how could he become a part of our deal? He comes near Johnny and places his hand on Johnny's chest and says, I'll come again. Forget your friends, relatives, and your love. You'll work under me from now on. As this happens, a Johnny falls and his eyes turn red like flames. Later, he goes to Aroxy, where both of them were supposed to leave from. But he doesn't go near her and moves forward. Here, a Johnny was going to perform the most dangerous stunt, in which, he was supposed to cross many cars. Doing this, an accident occurs and he and his bike fall in a bad way. Everyone surrounds him and gets scared by seeing his closed eyes. After some time when he opens his eyes, he asks if his bike is okay. People say, yes. People get amazed that he didn't experience any injury. This news highlights the fact that Johnny is a very strong stuntman who can withstand anything. Johnny's friends say, it seems some kind of angel saves your life. To which, Johnny says, yes, angel or devil. Then we are shown a scene of the bar where a man comes. As he comes, everything starts freezing. People knew him as Blackheart. As he goes inside, he starts killing everyone. But there were three people who weren't humans. They ask him that what brought him here? He says that he's here to bring San Viganza's contract. It is hidden in a nearby graveyard and you people will help me to find that. He says that once he gets the contract, He'll rule the whole world. One of those men asks him, What about your father? Then we are shown that old man, he was the same guy who took Johnny's sign on the contract. He goes outside and says to his father, Hand over me the custody of everything. This is my time to rule. His father says, A hey, yes, your time will come but this is my time. A black heart says to his father that you know you can't touch a hair of mine as long as you're here. His father says that my rider won't let you do this. A black heart says in a taunting way, Eh huh, that ghost rider, I'll bury both of you alive. Hearing it, 
he leaves. This old man was a demon and ghost rider worked for him. Later, we are shown Johnny who was getting ready for his longest jump. Some reporters come there to take his interview. Johnny refuses but a voice is heard from behind. A not even to your friend? In fact, she was a Roxy. Johnny comes to her and she starts the interview. When Johnny goes there to perform the stunt, there were six helicopters instead of cars. Today he had to jump over these helicopters. The time comes and it is seen that Johnny jumped easily. Everyone gets amazed. After it, he goes to meet Roxy. She was angry with him because they were supposed to go somewhere but Johnny didn't even come to meet her. But he makes her agree somehow and they decide to meet at 8 p.m. tonight. He was getting ready when he sees his hands getting red. When he pours water on his hands, he sees smoke coming out of them. After that, he hears his name Johnny. But when he turns and looks behind, no one is there. But he sees that the engine of his bike was turned on. Later, that old man is shown again. Johnny asks him, stay away from me. What do you want from me? He replies, it's possible for me to stay away from you. I was with you for the past many years. Now the time to act upon my orders has come. He says, find a black heart and kill him. Johnny says, I will never do this. Why don't you? According to the old man, it is impossible. You've agreed to do my work because you signed the contract. Once the work is done, I'll return your soul. Johnny tries to start his bike but it doesn't start. That old man hits his stick to the ground and the bike's tires get red and the bike catches speed. As it starts, things around it start blowing up. Fire sets into the bike. It was so speedy that it throws Johnny away. Then we are shown Johnny's body which was covered in fire. His whole body became fire. He had become Ghost Rider now. Later, he goes to a black heart and says that you are a rule breaker. You did wrong by breaking it. Go back to hell. But Blackheart doesn't pay heed to him and orders three of his men to attack him. They hit him with the truck. They think him dead and leave from there. Ghost Rider was still alive and the truck driver was also there. Ghost Rider turns him into ashes by burning him. As he moves forward, he sees a woman. A robber was stealing her purse. He frees the woman and asks the robber to feel the pain of those he killed or robbed by looking into his eyes. After which he starts feeling their pain and he dies. In fact, Ghost Rider was capable of an ability by which he could give punishment to the people for their sins. We realize that the places where Ghost Rider's bike passes from being set on fire, then Johnny is shown to us, coming back to his real form. The place where he fainted was a graveyard but when he regains his consciousness he finds himself in a room. When he comes out of the room, he sees an old man. He was the caretaker of the graveyard. He says to him that what happened yesterday will repeat today. Johnny asks him. Who are you? He says, whoever I am, but I know that you're Ghost Rider. Without my help, you can't stay alive for long. He says, no, I don't want anyone's help. The old man says you'll have to fulfill the agreement. He tells him that he'll become Ghost Rider at night and Johnny in the daytime. Johnny asks him, was there any other Ghost Rider before me? He says, yes. One thousand years ago, a man from San Viganza became a Ghost Rider. He tells him this village was so peaceful, but then a man came there and spread hate among them. After it, villagers started killing their own people. Their souls are still in that village. A Johnny asks him, how these things are connected to Blackheart. That old man asks, are you behind him? A Johnny says, yes, he has other people with him as well. That old man says that they all were angels before who were sent to the earth. Now he's in wait that when this world will end, the old man says you are safe here because they can't enter God's house. Johnny says, all right, you did well by telling me that I am chosen by the devil, but I can't stay here. When he comes back, he sees that the whole city is destroyed. Roads are broken and no one knew that who did it. Then her friend A. Roxy is shown interviewing someone. She was angry with him again and leaves because he didn't meet her this time too. After it. Johnny comes to his house and read books about the Ghost Riders. It was written that they can control their fire if they want. Then A. Johnny does the same. He takes out the fire on his hand and then controls it. Later, A. Roxy comes again and apologizes to him and says, I didn't want to talk like this to you. She looks at a picture of both of them in his room. Johnny says, Let me take you to the car. 
He didn't want to do it but he had to because the night was falling and his time of becoming Ghost Rider was drawing near. Roxy asks him, What's wrong with you? What do you want? Johnny says, If I tell you the truth, you won't like staying with me. Roxy compels him to speak. He tells the truth but she doesn't believe it and leaves. The police were blaming Ghost Rider for all the destruction happening in the city. They arrest him and put him behind bars, but as the night falls, he melts the rods of the jail and comes outside. He set out to meet a black heart. When a black heart gets aware of it, he orders his men to stop him. On the other side, police were chasing him too. Then a scene creates that a man of a black heart calls the ghost rider and starts running. Now, ghost rider runs behind him and the police behind ghost rider. On the way, a building comes and ghost rider drives his bike on it. Seeing this, People get nervous and scared. A Roxy was witnessing everything and she starts believing that he must be speaking the truth. As the Ghost Rider reaches the top, he grabs Blackheart's man, but nothing happens to him as he had powers of the air. But suddenly, Ghost Rider takes out his chain and covers it with fire, and starts wrapping it around him. As a result, he dies of burning. Later, Johnny goes to that old man again who told him about the Ghost Rider. Johnny asks him, how will this end? He tells him that everything will come to an end with Blackheart's death. Then that man takes him to a grave. Slee was written on it. He tells that he was also a ghost rider. He was sent to take the souls of the people of San Vigans according to the contract. But when he found this task difficult, he didn't give that contract to Blackheart and run with it. Blackheart wants to get this contract because it will make him powerful. But during this, don't go near your beloved ones because he'll use them against you. Then Ghost Rider goes to Aeroxy but he finds a black heart there already. Black heart grabs him by the neck but on contrary, Johnny becomes the Ghost Rider and grabs him by the neck, and then says, Look into my eyes and feel the pain of the people whom you killed and did wrong with. Black heart, says, Your powers won't work on me because I am soulless. As he says this, he pushes him and says, from now on you'll work for me instead of my father. If you want to save Roxy's life, then meet her and send Viganza along with that contract. After it, Blackheart takes Roxy with her. On the other hand, Johnny goes to that old man and says, I want to save my friend at any cost. That old man had that contract. Johnny requests him to give this contract to him. The old man refuses and says, This will destroy the whole world. Johnny asks him to trust him. They took my soul but didn't buy me. I still have faith and passion for love left in me. That old man says I know that you didn't make this contract in greed but for love. Therefore God is helping you too. I think you are the one who can kill Blackheart. That old man says, all right. But San Viganza village is at a distance of 500 miles so we should set out now. Johnny asks shockingly, we? What do you mean? Just then the old man whistles and a horse disappeared from there. He sits on the horse and says to Johnny that my one last journey is remaining. As he says this, he wears his hat and we see him turning into a ghost rider. In fact, he was also a ghost rider and he was that man who didn't give Blackheart, that contract of San Viganza. After this, they both set out for San Viganza on their rides. As they reach there, that old man says, I can't go forward anymore, because I could become a ghost rider only one more time. I saved this chance for today. He leaves as he says this. Now Johnny enters inside. Only one man of Blackheart was left. He tries to make him drown in the water. But just then, Johnny becomes the ghost rider and drowns him on the contrary. Then he goes to Blackheart and asks him to free her. But he throws her away. Johnny had that contract in his hand. He goes near Blackheart but doesn't give him the contract. Then he becomes the Ghost Rider. They fight a lot. Then we are shown that the sun is rising. Taking advantage of it, Blackheart throws the Ghost Rider in the sunlight. And then he is transformed into Johnny. That village felt so haunted because many souls were present there. Blackheart holds up the contract and starts reading it loudly. He says all the souls that are here, come inside me. Hearing it, all the souls start coming inside him. Blackheart's eyes turned red because he was a holder of many powers now. Roxy goes to the Ghost Rider and asks him to leave. It's time to leave, she says. We gave him what he wanted but Johnny says, No, I started this contract and I've to end it. Roxy asks him, 
Why only you? Johnny says because I'm Ghost Rider. Later, Blackheart goes near Johnny and shoots him but nothing happens to him. He hits him and his gun falls. Then he tries to go into the dark but Blackheart grabs him by the neck and says, Not now. Now I have all the souls of your world. Suddenly, Roxy comes and starts shooting him. It distracts him and Johnny falls from his hand. Roxy shoots again and here Blackheart's neck is detached. But obviously, he had many powers so he could grow his head back. Roxy's gun runs out of bullets. Johnny takes this gun and takes his hand in the dark and start firing because his hand was a fire now. Blackheart is cut into pieces with it. All those souls start exiting his body. But as I've told he had many powers so he collects all the souls again and comes back to his original form. But now he knew how to kill Blackheart. He goes to him and asks him to feel the pain of the souls whom he had killed. He starts feeling the pain, because of many souls. He couldn't endure the pain. And finally, he dies here. Later, his father, that old man is shown to us. He comes to Johnny and says, Well done, you did my task. I free you now. You can start your new life happily if you want. A normal life, he says. Johnny refuses and says, I'll use these powers and abilities against you. Wherever someone is killed, I will be there. You will be punished for what you have done. The old man says I will not leave you. Ghost Rider says, We aren't afraid. He screams as he slams his stick into the ground and vanishes. The movie ends here. Thank you for watching. Hello guys. Welcome from Mr. Dot Updates. As the film starts, we see two bikers performing stunts. Both were father and son in relation. Son's name's Johnny. While performing stunts, his bike imbalances and he slips. After the show, Johnny's father angrily advises him, It happened today but don't let it happen in the future. When he gets home, his side catches a piece of paper. When he picks that up, it was clearly written on it that his father has chest cancer. He becomes extremely concerned and goes to repair his bikes in order to soothe his heart. Suddenly, an old man comes there and says, Johnny, I am an admirer of your biking skills. Perhaps you will work for me someday. Johnny says, Oh do you run a show as well? In reply, he says, Yes, world's biggest show. Later he says, Your father is suffering from cancer, right? Johnny asks him shockingly, who told you? He asks him to leave this topic and says, I can make your father healthy again but, in return, you'll have to accept my condition. Johnny says, OK tell me the amount you want for this work. That old man demands his soul. To which a Johnny laughs because he wasn't believing his words. That old man gives him a contract paper. As a Johnny starts reading it, a pin gets inserted into his hand, and a blood drop falls on the paper. That man then snatches the paper and says, this is enough. The scene changes and Johnny is shown on his bed. He thought it could be a dream. He nervously goes to his father and asks if he's fine. In reply, his father says that he was feeling unwell for some days and getting weaker due to this disease. But today, the doctor told me that I'm perfectly fine today and feeling myself healthier, he says. He was leaving for the show and asks Johnny to join him. But he was busy somewhere. He tells his father that he is interested in a girl named Roxy. Her father wants to send him away so I want to take her with me somewhere. He asks him, till when I'll perform these stunts, I want to do something new. Johnny's father gives him the key of the bike that he wanted to drive since childhood. He wishes him luck on his new adventure and departs. Johnny's friend's name was Roxy. Then he's shown on that bike. This area was so noisy and this was the place where his father went to perform stunts. Upon investigating, he acknowledges that his father died in an accident. Then that man comes in front of him, who asked him to sign the paper. Johnny was upset due to his father's death. He slips and gets injured badly. Here that man is shown again. Johnny angrily says, Why don't you stop following me? You killed my father. How did you know that he had cancer? That old man says, I only cured his cancer but how could he become a part of our deal? He comes near Johnny and places his hand on Johnny's chest and says, I'll come again, forget your friends, relatives, and your love, you'll work under me from now on. As this happens, a Johnny falls and his eyes turn red like flames. Later, he goes to Aroxy, where both of them were supposed to leave from, but he doesn't go near her and moves forward. Here, a Johnny was going to perform the most 